Despite what some may say, there is math that is applied to art. My favorite example is the golden ratio. It is also often called golden section, golden mean, golden spiral, golden number, divine proportion, or golden proportion. The golden ratio is depicted as a single large rectangle formed by a square and another rectangle. You can repeat the sequence infinitely and perfectly within each section. It is used to draw the viewer's eye to a specific part of the work that makes the whole work pleasing to the eye. It can be applied to many different types of art. It's the principle of good structure and design. Some scholars argue that the Egyptians used the golden proportion when designing the Great Pyramids around 3000 BC. Ancient Greeks applied the golden ratio when building the Parthenon. Around 500 BC, Pythagoras claimed that the golden ratio is the basis for the proportions of the human figure. The golden ratio was especially utilized by Leonardo da Vinci. Like in the Last Supper, all the key dimensions of the room were based on the golden ratio and in the Annunciation, to name a couple. He used golden ratio calipers to make sure his works were in proportion. During the Renaissance period, the golden ratio would have been known as the divine proportion. Da Vinci and Luca Pacioli created a book together in 1509 called The Divine Proportion. Da Vinci was the illustrator and Pacioli was the author. Pacioli states that without mathematics, there is no art. Many other Renaissance artists use the divine proportion in their works. Michelangelo with the creation of Adam. God touches the finger of Adam precisely at the golden ratio point of the width and height of the area of both of them. Raphael with the School of Athens. A small golden rectangle at the center of the painting shows that he used the golden ratio as well. Botticelli with the birth of Venus. You can take the golden ratio point using several different logical variations and they all come to her navel or bottom tip of her right elbow. Seurat, who is a French Impressionist painter, used the golden ratio in almost all of his works. Horizons in his paintings fall exactly at the golden section of the height of his paintings. As you can see, many famous works use the golden ratio. The golden ratio could even be applied to some of the frames in this video.